Okay, so we're going to be talking, today we're going to be talking about um, how Jesus cannot be God because he has a God. So uh, the question really arises, if Jesus is God or if he's co-equal with God, uh, how can Jesus be God and have a God at the same time? <clears throat> the God of the Bible is the Almighty, the Creator, the Most High. Muslims will agree with that. Uh, Jesus Christ cannot be God if he says he only... If he says that our heavenly Father is his God, now notice what um, uh, notice what one Corinthians uh, chapter fifteen verse twenty eight says. It says, uh, "When all things are subjected to him, the Son himself will become subjected to him who put him thing, who put all things in subjection under him, that God may be in all." So you see, so according to one Corinthians chapter fifteen verse twenty eight. Uh, the son was subjected to God, uh, you know, and put all things in subjection under him that God made. So God is up here and Jesus was subjected to um, God, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 28. So the question really arises, does Jesus have a God? And the answer is yes, according to the New Testament. Uh, so how can God have a God at the same time? So if Jesus has a God, that means God is higher than Jesus, and Jesus is lower than God. That means Jesus and God are not co-equal, according to the New Testament itself. We see that we see that God is the Lord or God of Jesus Christ. We read this in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. I keep asking the God of our Father, the God, or I keep asking the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father. So Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17, Jesus has a God. Romans chapter 15 verse 6, uh, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord and God are separate according to Romans chapter 15 verse 6. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 3, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse uh, 13, praise be to God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Peter chapter 1 verse uh, 1 to 3, praise be to to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So God, so Jesus Christ, or the Lord Jesus, has a God. So that means God and Jesus cannot be co-equal or um, co-equal because if Jesus has a God, he cannot be equal or co-equal to that God. Uh, further, further, we see that even according to Jesus' statements himself, Jesus has a God according to, um, according to, the statements found in the Gospels, uh, in John chapter seventeen, ver or I'm sorry, in John chapter twenty verse seventeen, Jesus says, "I ascend to my Father and your Father, and my God and your God." So Jesus tells Mary Magdalene, "I am ascending to my God and your God." So Jesus has a God. So if Jesus has a God, and if that God is Jesus God and Mary Magdalene's God or the disciples God, etc., that means Jesus cannot be co-equal. To that God, because Jesus says, my God, that means he has a God and he's not co-equal to that God or he's not in the same, uh, he's not in the same quality as that God. So Jesus is lesser than God, according to John chapter 20, verse 17, uh, Revelation chapter three, verse 12, Jesus has a God. Jesus says, my God, uh, the temple in the temple of my God. So Jesus has a God, according to Revelation chapter three, verse 12. Or Jesus says he has a God in Revelation chapter 3, verse 12. Revelation chapter 3, verse 21, uh, Jesus has a God. He says, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne just as I overcome and sat down with my father on his throne. So Jesus has a God, or Jesus says that he has a God. So if they keep bringing up that Jesus is co-equal to God, ask them how can Jesus be God and have a God at the same time? Cite, you know, these verses, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17, Romans chapter 15, verse uh, 6, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3, uh, John chapter 20, verse 17, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12, Revelation chapter 3, verse 21, shows that Jesus has a God, therefore Jesus cannot be co-equal to God or equal to God in the same uh, quality sense. Stay tuned, more videos coming up ahead, debunking the divinity of Jesus, just using the New Testament.